Hi, I'm Mr. Schrader and today I'm going to talk to you about the partial sums algorithm for addition. This is one of the algorithms that we use in everyday math um, and it's got some uh, really good properties to it. Uh, first of all, it's very similar to the way we teach originally how to do place value and, and addition with base 10 blocks. So it mimics kind of the pattern. Um, the important thing about this, though, is it talks about place value. Now, place value is important as we go through a lot of our algorithms. Um, this one in particular, you need to know the value uh, of the digit in each place. So in the case that I have in my example, I've got the number 6,802. But the 6 in here is not worth 6. It's actually worth 6,000 because it's in the thousands place. And the 8 is worth 800. The 0 is actually still worth 0, 0 tens. And the 2 is worth 2. It's in the ones place. So when I work with this process, with this algorithm, it's important to know the value of each digit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to talk through the partial sums algorithm. The way it works is you start with the leftmost uh, place value. It's not necessarily to, to do it in that order, but it, it helps with keeping things organized. So I'm going to start, step one is in the thousands place. So in my thousands place, I've got a 6,000, that's the value of that 6, and I don't have anything in the, in the thousands place in the bottom of it. So I just get a 6,000 plus 0, which equals 6,000. In step two, I'm going to go to the hundreds place. That means I've got an 800 and a 400. So I get 800 plus 400. This zero should actually be up a little bit. I'm sorry. 800 plus 400 equals 1,200. Step three, I'm ready to go to the next place value, which is the tens place, which is zero tens plus five tens, which is 50. So a total of 50. And my last step in this case is going to the ones place, which I get 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, if you notice, all of my place values are lined up. So I should be able to just add. And in this case, I get a 5, a 5, a 2, and a 7. So then my value is 2,000, or 7,255. 6,000 plus 6,000 plus 1,200 plus 50 plus 5 equals 7,255. Now let's take a look at the guided practice, our next one. We need to solve 5,273 plus 742 using partial sums. Again, we're going to start with the leftmost place value, which is the thousands place. So our step one is going to be in the thousands. Uh, I have a 5 in the thousands place, so I get 5,000. I don't have anything in the thousands place in the bottom number, so I'm plusing the zero, which equals 5,000. Step two, I'm going to go to my next place value, which is the hundreds place. I've got a two in the hundreds place, so 200 is the value of that two. And I've got a seven, which the value is 700, which equals 900. Notice that I'm lining up my place values, my ones place, my tens place, and my hundreds place. My next step is the tens place. That's where I'm at up here. I have 70 and 40. which equals 110. And then my last step will be the ones place, which is 3 plus 2, and that equals 5. So then what I need to do is I need to add them all together. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 9 plus 0 plus 1 is 10. 5 plus 1 is 6. So I get 6,015 is my partial sum. Your, your job now is to do the last problem on your own. It's 325 plus 564. Go ahead and pause the video at this point so that you can work it out, and then there will be a solution. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and work this one out on our own. 325, I'm going to stack it, 564. I'm adding them together. 
I need to find partial sum. So I'm going to start with my leftmost place value, which is just the, the process that I'm doing. It doesn't necessarily need to start with the leftmost, but in order to stay organized, we are. So it's going to be the hundreds place in this case, and I get 300 plus 500, which equals 800. My next place value is my tens place. I'm going to do 20 plus 60 which equals 80. Notice I'm still trying to line up my place value. And then in my ones place, I get 5 plus 4, which equals 9. So all of these are partial sums, so I can use those to find out all the sum, which is 9, and 8, and 0 is 8, and then 8 all the way down. 889 is my partial sum. Thanks a lot. I hope this helps a lot to help you identify what partial sums means. Thanks a lot.